stop! I need me there! Let me stop that! His Majesty, Igwe Poto Poto of Poto Poto Kingdom wants to see you. Move. There's something very special about you. I don't understand what you mean, Your Majesty. You are coming back to the palace with me. I'm sorry, but my my fiance is. It is an order, Supreme Controller of Putu Putu Kingdom. No, Your Majesty, my fiance is waiting for me just around the corner. No. Come on! Wait, don't take off! Put your hands up! No, wait, wait, Are you sure it was you to put to yourself? Papa, I know I am not from this kingdom, but I know you're king. The man even stepped down from his car and, and, and introduced himself as the king. And then a guard came out, I, I, I suppose they had guard, and now said that the eagle wants Ifunaya. And then they took her away. I, 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 I don't know what is going on. What is he saying? I don't know what is going on, Papa. What is it? What is he saying? What happened? Speak to me now, what is it? No, Ifunaya. Uh -huh. Igwe put a to keep Ifunaya into the palace. What? My daughter, you are not serious, are you? You are not serious. Mama, they say what happened is, is it's a law in this kingdom. That the hey. man is the supreme controller. I don't know what it means. <laughs> I don't understand what is happening. Okay. What is happening? This is what I've been saying. How can they allow that man to have draconian powers in this new age? I got to think of it. What would a man that could not count his concubines work with my daughter? And you want me to sit down here and watch? I'm going after him because I will not allow it. Me, I will not allow it. Mami Fnai, what? I know what you're trying to do. Be careful. Let me tell you, Mami Fnai. Igwe Putu Putu is an evil man. You should be very careful. Hey! Wait, Ndilibe. I don't understand you. I don't understand you at all. Eh? So, you want me to be careful and calm, knowing that my own daughter Fnai is in the hand of that evil man? Who has kidnapped her and want to make her his wife? Mama. You want me to become about it? Mama, did you say kidnapper? I want yes, of course. Papa. Yes, kidnapped her. Papa. Yes. Papa, are you trying to say that I'm, I'm not going to see my FNI again? Yes. That is the kind of power they allowed a man to have, all in the name of tradition. Hi. The Sidna has kidnapped your FNI. I am not going to see her again. And there is nothing any one of us can do. We are seated comfortably with her father. If now is in the hands of the king. Papa. That's why every day as the day breaks, I regret of not being made a man. If I am a man, I am a man for now. Yeah? All this nonsense will not be happening in this land, Poto Poto. Because I will not allow it. I will fight for it. <sighs> wait, wait. When is she going to? You're asking me where he's going to. He's going after the woman he loves. He's, he has gone after the woman he loves. I 
I bring greetings from the throne of Igwe Poto Poto of Poto Poto Kingdom. And peace be unto this house now and always. Your greeting makes no sense to me. Why are you here? A maiden of this land by the name Ifunanya. Whom I understand is your daughter. Is now under the protection of the throne. It is the instruction of the king that I let you know so you don't declare her missing. <laughs> I'll take my leave. In again. You cannot stink. It smells. If I have my wife, we want to be part of it. You don't have anything to tell him. Be quiet. Ancestors, either of us could assume the throne as king. Isn't it high time we looked him in the eyes and tell him what he's doing is not right? I still don't get it. What did our father do? He's returned with yet another maiden of this land. And as we speak, she's with him in his chambers. This idea of the king abducting innocent maidens all in the name of Supreme Controller must stop. I think it's high time we looked him in the eyes and told him the truth. I'm going to resume my interview. Just that you want to look our father in the eyes. I will look you in the eye and tell you that the king is the highest authority on this land. You don't question him. Do you know the number of maidens we have in this palace? Do you have a problem with the maidens we have in this palace? Naka. Vibrant young women are brought into this palace and declared wives to the king by the king himself. I see danger. I see danger. What danger? Someday, these girls will get frustrated and will venture the absurd. Venture the absurd. And what do you mean, venture the absurd? Set this palace on fire or do something severe. Now there's only one thing. And rather, let us stop the game. Stop the game. Let me remind you that Igwe Potopoto, our father, is the king. The supreme controller of Putu Putu Kingdom. He cannot be stopped. You cannot stop him. No, 
Mari ke. Oh ya. Yeah. Hmm. I see myself as a helpless prince in a mad kingdom. All right. Since you've exhausted what you have in your little head, I'll take my leave. maidens in this palace. Why can't you just go to them to give you whatever it is you want? I don't have it. The man you saw with me is my fiance and we're getting married very soon. Um, even as you speak, I can feel it in my spirit that you must be the one. I brought you here to see if you can Assume that responsibility and be the one. I don't know what you mean, Your Majesty. I have a life. I don't want to end up here. Look, I'm not, not only the king, but also the supreme controller of this land. And traditionally, that means that any woman, either indigenous or foreign, who breathes the air of this land is mine. So you see, uh, all the plannings that you've been doing with the, that ninkum poop. Yes, it's all done in, in, in error. Uh, now that you know that you are mine, uh, uh, just relax, open up, uh, and, and be the maiden who will break the jinx. I don't know what you mean by jinx. I don't, Your Majesty. My fiancé is supposed to pay my bread price this Saturday, and I beg you to please let me go. It has been revealed to me that some en enemies of mine, whose names are still not revealed, have put a curse on me. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, so if I meet a, a woman outside the palace, my manhood would declare war and ready to go. But the same beautiful woman, I take her into the palace and my, my manhood will go on permanently. <laughs> with a competent, uh, traditional um, doctor. Told me that I am on the verge of uh, uh, solving the problem because I will find a maiden in this land who will solve the problem. And that is why you are here. Your Majesty, I don't know anything about meeting doctors. And I am not a maiden. Uh, how do you know if you don't try? If you are able to resurrect my manhood to the point where I can do to a woman what a man should do, oh. <laughs> oh. I shall give you anything you want in this kingdom. I don't want anything, Majesty. I just want to go. <laughs> 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 now you listen to me. You listen to me. your parents that you are under my protection oh, yes and the district police officer is also aware so you see you cannot go anywhere you are mine why don't you you know when you understand this is uh, you know it, it, come on be mine and uh, you know I want you to understand that I, I hold you as a maiden of honor. And, and you will be the one that I will appoint leader of the maidens. I shall go back. You don't have to ask me for this. What's wrong with you, but I said, What's wrong with you, but I said?
So you plus to bring me from entering the palace to see the king. Knowing fully well that your king has kidnapped my daughter and kept him half for his wife. See, I will not leave this gate today until I see the king. Do you hear me, woman? It has been communicated to your family that your daughter is under royal protection. Why are you here taking the protest? What stupid royal protection are you talking about? Wait. What nonsense protection are you talking about? Is it by force? So let me tell you, my daughter is due to get married come this and today. And I've made every arrangement for that. If your king succeeds in taking other maidens as his wife, he will not succeed in my own. I will fight him. I will get my daughter today. Let me ask you, what do you think you can do? If we refuse to allow into this palace, what will you do? Even if you take everything for granted, don't take for granted that I'm a woman from this land. I am a woman from this particular land. And women from this land are powerful. Do you hear me? Women from this land are powerful. Your king has touched the tail of a tiger. He has touched the tail of a tiger this time around he wants to go free. I will fight him. Go and communicate this message to him. Go and tell him I said so. Look, woman, those that refuse to accept will eventually accept one day. And when they finally accept, they will even accept more than those that accepted from the beginning. Did you hear me? You Did you hear me? Are you talking to me? Yes. So you are talking to me now in parables. Look at you. You won't know the meaning. <laughs> okay. You will know the meaning. You shall know the meaning. <laughs> you may leave. See, let me tell you, a time will come when the gate of this palace will be thrown open and nobody will enter. And you will be forced to come and bend. So you are not, you are not insulting me. When you get home, tell your mother, insult her because I know I'm old enough to give back to you. Scrub, boy. One scrub. Leave. Hey, what's wrong with this one? See, let me tell you, I'll be the first to drag this woman whenever I see her again in this palace. I've marked her. Came here, and what did I find? I found only five of you. Would you please tell me exactly what happened? Why are the others not here? Your Majesty, all animals are equal, but some animals are, however, more equal than the others. Mm. So what I'm gathering from what you've said now is that the five of you believe that you are more important than the others. <clears throat> Your Majesty, we have come to the conclusion that. If you have to choose a leader amongst the ladies in this palace, that leader should come from at least the five of us. Your Majesty, we want to know our leader tonight. <laughs> My royal maidens. Wow. <laughs> You know, this palace remains the only palace where comfort is guaranteed. Ah, ah. <laughs> sit down, sit down, sit down. Mm. <laughs> so <that's it. laughs> ah, no, no. Mm. Oh. <laughs> so that's it. You know, this palace remains the only palace where comfort is guaranteed. I don't want any of you to be interested in leadership. Yes. If you want anything from the king, you know what channel to follow. I'll say goodbye. Your Majesty. 
Minora. Yes. <laughs> Maiden of Honor is a new language in the palace. And we would like you to please explain to us what it means. Well, it is obvious that uh, it was you who told them what I said. Now why don't you go a step further and tell them what I said about Maiden of Honor? Your Majesty, you are the King, Your Majesty. You are the Supreme Controller, Your Majesty. You are the ultimate decider of all things. So we want you to explain to us if the maiden you brought into this palace today has become our leader, then we shall all know that the position has been taken. Mm. Now I want you all to listen to me. I hereby declare that all royal maidens are now maiden of honor. This title has become sacred. It has not been given to any one person. I say good night. to ask us a question. What do we understand by the declaration of the king? He merely spoke to Dao's detention he has noticed. Subsequent events shall prove to us if the position has been taken or not. <laughs> in fact, you needed to see the new lady when she was being let in. She carried herself. In fact, she walked like one royalty when she has not been adorned as one. She was looking so extraordinary. Gosh. <laughs> well, I see defeat in your eyes. But I want to tell you all oh, one thing. One thing. Nobody. Nobody shall defeat me in this palace. I have discussed with the IPO and I'll advise you in your overall interest to drop this case. I beg your pardon, DPO. I mean, how could you suggest such a thing? A man kidnapped my, my, my fiancé since yesterday. I don't know what he's doing with her and... Why should you advise me such a thing? Why should you advise me to drop the case? The girl's father confirmed to us that he knows where his daughter is. The palace security also confirmed to us that the girl is in the palace under the protection of the king. There is no how you can smuggle kidnapping into this case. She was taken against her own wish. And that, as far as I know, is a criminal offense in this country. I completely agree with you that uh, Taking someone against his or wish without a competent court instrument is criminal. But that's not the case before us here. If we must do anything, the girl in question must make a statement that she was taken against her wish. But as long as the person in the center of the storm is not here, there's nothing we can do. You see, that is what I hate about this country. The process of administration of justice favors only the high and mighty in this country. I'm not going to sit down here and join this with you. You better don't. I stand by my words that the administration of law in this country does not favor only the high and mighty as you allege, but it favors everybody that is just. Let your fiancée prove to us that she was kidnapped like you alleged, and then we'll take it off from there. We shall see. Why are you undermining my powers and showing me that you have no regard for constituted authority? I was brought here by your orders. One load into your convoy without my consent. With all due respect, Your Majesty, 
you are the one who's ever minding my freedom of movement. Freedom of movement was uh, sacrificed on the altar of the highest title in the land. The supreme controller. since yesterday. How do you know that I am the maiden of all? Oh, the man from Burunebo was quite emphatic. He said there's a maiden from, from this land who will resurrect all the things that have been taken away from me. Oh, yes. Be that maiden. And I will give you half my kingdom. to give a maiden a big half of your kingdom? <laughs> what is a man without his libido? No, oh, yes, I want that maiden. And when I find her, I will make her the most expensive maiden ever. I read my lips. I shall make her rich in foreign currency. is quite lucrative, Your Majesty. I'm really enticing. I must refuse you. My future is with someone else. Oh, I look into your I look into your eyes and I see that there is no future with that name come poop. Oh yes, your future is here with me. There is royalty written, written all over you. I don't I don't belong here, Your Majesty. You, Please let me go home and freshen up. Look, you are the one who has refused to use the facilities we have here. You've been refusing me. You refused me all night. How long will you continue to refuse me? Forever, Your Majesty. I will resist you forever. You are old enough to be my father. I cannot do anything with you. I am the old wine that gets better with age. Yeah. I'm at your service, Your Majesty. Miss Anderson, I brought a lady here yesterday. She's still here with me. I want you to come and uh, adorn her in um, royal robes. Hmm? We are going out for a walk. Consider it done, Your Majesty. Good. She's going be here. What's going on? Aren't you going to let me go back to the man I want to marry? You are mine. There is no going back. You have seen the nakedness of a king. You can never be allowed to see the nakedness of another man. I refuse to belong here, Your Majesty. But I am not going anywhere. Kill! <coughs> That's Miss Ellison. Go with Miss Ellison. Excuse me. Greetings from the throne of Igwe Potopoto of Potopoto Kingdom. I greet you too. Greetings. So what have you come here to do? Um, as at noon yesterday, your Igwe and um, his bodyguards forcefully took away my fiancée. Mm -hmm. And I have come to see her. 
Not just to see her, I want to take her back home because she belongs to me, not to any other person. Young man, I would advise you to be very careful with whatever you say. Are you alright? Okay. Are you okay? Well, um, the truth is I'm not ready to disobey your orders. Okay. But I want you to do me one favor. What kind of favor is that? I am pleading his own force. Just do me one favor. This is her for me. I want you mm -hmm. to give it to her. They, they did not allow her to go out with it when, when they first wanted to go away. Please, just give her the phone so I could call her. Please. That's not my business. I advise you to leave this place because if she's your wife or your girl, she will definitely call you. Are you alright? She's my fiance. Huh? Please. That's your business. No, just give her the phone. I, see, she's not going to I'm okay with you. You can go. See. I said leave this place. I, 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 I said leave this place. I am just begging you. Just give her I don't want to see you here again, no. Come, please, please. I said go. Go, go, go. You must give her this phone! What is it? Just come and give her this phone and you're being like this! I'm not going anywhere! I'm not leaving this place until I see my fiance! I'm not leaving this place! Whoa, whoa. Body job or whatever you call yourself! Come out here! Take this phone and give to my fiance! Why would you talk to go, go, come and take somebody's wife like that? Is that how they do this? If you need her, go and look for her on the road! I don't have to take her from me! What is this? I'm going to stay here until you come out! If you don't open this gate, I will sit on myself! Whatever you like do! I'm going to remain here until you come and take this phone or you let me to see her. In fact, I'm going to sleep here. I will sleep here until you do whatever you want to do. Where are you? I just drop past to his my fiance. Let me talk to him at least, please. You belong to the palace. Your future is in the palace. You are a multimillionaire. Why don't you start thinking about dropping this 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 riff raff? At least let me speak to him. Let me just speak to him, that's all I ask. But that that, that ragamuffin does not love you. How can you say that, Your Majesty? Well, subsequent events will, uh, will, will show you that that Ninka Poop does not love you at all. Really wants uh, to attain greatness through you. And a man of virtue will do anything to make sure that their wives attain glory. Not try to Attain glory through their wives. Did you see the treatment she was getting? The king is merely denying the obvious. She has been chosen as the maiden of honor. The king is merely denying the obvious. Look, I think it is time for us to figure out in time how to grant the king to a halt. You'll be surprised with what I'm going to say. What? already lost interest in the king and I'm not even seeing him. Lost? I'm, I'm confused. There is a charmer in this palace and he's Prince Ubaka. I've been consumed by his charms and he's the only one I see around here. Yes. So what makes you think he would ever look your way. I'm aware that some maidens have gone to seduce him and failed. Mm. So what makes you different? And what are your plans? <laughs> Take a look. 
and this. You of all people should know that we have different ladies with different body chemistries. Mm. And my power when it comes to seducing a man, it's electrifying. You know, mm. no man has ever survived when I unleash my seductive act. Mm. I'm telling you this because you're the only friend I have in this palace. I will be the first maiden in Baka the monk is going to take. He will be so consumed that he want to have it again. And again. Go to Dali. Just come and see. What I think? What? I think you are sick. It's not my fault. We live in a kingdom where the sexually dead king has assembled all the best ladies around. I can get what I want. I humbled myself before Prince to back off Poto Poto Kingdom. I saw my father driving out this morning with a lady. You know where he was going to? The information passed to the head of the wardrobe is that he was going out for a walk with a maiden. Is it the same girl he came back with yesterday? Yes, Your Highness. Her name is Ifunanya. Daughter of Mr. Kalibu from Menuri Village. We saw her yesterday with her fiancé and the king or that has to join the convoy. What? Can you believe this? You met a lady with her fiancé and you ordered her to join your convoy? Why would you do a thing like that? My prince, it was an express order of the king. Okay. What happened to the said fiancé? He became unruly and we stopped him forcefully. I humble myself as I speak to the prince. I call it kidnap because that is what it is. The king of this kingdom has kidnapped a young lady right before her fiance against her wish. Now I know the young man will come here looking for her. Listen to me. When he comes, don't turn him back. Direct him straight to my quarters. <laughs> my prince, I'm sorry, your highness. It, well, it's now too late. What do you mean it's now too late? The young man has been here, but we turned him back. It will be in line with the lay down rules. Okay, now, you have an idea where this young man could be? He actually saw the king driving out with the woman. And he entered his own car and drove off. It is possible he followed the king. Yes. Hello? Hello? Before you carry out any order, first confirm with your conscience if such an order is the right thing to do. The God of the just will continue to be merciless with you if you continue to trample on them. It is an advice. You may leave.
Well, I saw you yesterday and uh, I was attracted. Oh, yes. You have something that uh, no other maiden has. Uh, so I invited you here today to reveal to you some of the kingdom's secrets. Your Majesty, I'm but a commoner. I do not qualify to know the secrets of the king. Says who? <laughs> I am the supreme controller. The ultimate decider of all things. You have things that others, others don't have. So you are entitled to know what others don't know. Your Majesty, this place, this place is scary. Yes. Yes, indeed, it is scary. This is where the elders murdered my father. See, I took, I took the uh, title of uh, the Supreme Controller because I wanted to be sure that uh, the elders will not murder me the way former elders murdered my father. I don't understand that. It was a long time ago. It was a long time ago. Oh, long before you were born. You see, oil was found in this kingdom. Yes. And, uh, the elders got together, had a secret meeting, and decided that my father was not going to let them have their share of the oil money. So they decided to murder him. I've never heard this, Your Majesty. That is why I call it the secret. Now, now let me tell you something else I have never mentioned to anybody. Not none of the maid maidens. Well, I took this the title because I wanted to make sure that nobody would be able to kill me. Your Majesty. And today, I am in charge of all the oil money and all the other min uh, minerals that we have. Your my Majesty. Dear, my dear. <laughs> Accept my condolences. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. But I would very much like you to look out of your cocoon of, 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 of fear, of shyness, and come into this group. Come into this group. You know. Then my father's uh, death, it's a long time. It's no longer the issue. You are the issue. Your Majesty, I do understand your frustrations. But how do I come into the picture? I mean, I, I, I honestly would have helped if I could, but... I... You know, this uh, title, Supreme Controller ensured that nobody could kill me. But it came at a price. Oh, yes. If I see a beautiful woman now, um, I will, my manhood will become absolutely on the button, ready to go. But the moment we cross into the, the palace, it will just go to sleep and refuse to wake up. Oh yes. I know that my enemies are at work. I, I would like you to appreciate what I want from you. I, I would like you to help me.
is getting out of hand and even if nobody does anything about it, you should be seen to be doing something because he's your husband. My dear, do you know that the guards are having wonderful time with all the maidens your father kidnapped into this palace all in the name of Supreme Controller? I don't understand, Mom. What do you mean by the guards having wonderful time with all the maidens? I might not be nosing around this palace because I don't want to be misunderstood by anybody. But that does not stop me from being Queen of Wine, Manari of Potopoto Land. The maidens that have seen your father's nakedness are constantly opening themselves to the guards. What? Don't ask me what that means because I'm sure you know the implication. Danger looms. Oh, mother! Mom, that's bad! You, you see what I'm talking about? You see, you see why we have to do something about it before it blows up? Please. My dear, there's this saying in our land, and I'm sure you know about it. He who goes into the bush to fetch ant infested firewood has invited lizard to have a party in his compound. Your father is the supreme controller. The ultimate decider. No one ever advises him on what to do. No one advises him. He knows it all. <coughs> but it doesn't still make it right. We, we owe it to him to tell him the truth. Expecting some merchants from QA tomorrow, so I need to go settle down, prepare the files, and memorandum of understanding, and be ready for them. So make it snappy. There we go. The same thing you have said now is the same reason why I called you here. It's time you think less about the business of the family. Think more about yourself. I'm the one in charge of the family business. Mm. Our father is now the supreme controller. He's retired, he can do business no more. So I'm in charge. So why would I be selfish and dump the family fortune? And think about myself, why? My advice has nothing to do with being or not being selfish. All I'm asking you to do is to select a wife for yourself. You're not getting younger, you know. And you sure need a wife! I bow in greeting to Her Majesty, Queen Amoma of Putuputu Kingdom. You're welcome, my son. You may be seated. Thank you. You don't look okay. Is anything the matter? Majesty danger looms in this palace. Hmm. My mother is not willing to do anything, and you're readily the next person in line to take a lead. We have to stop the king before this palace collapses. Hey, what's your problem? Huh? Why are you creating mischief in this palace? Why are you going around inciting the queens against their husband? Tell me, why? Why? Right under our noses, the guards have been sleeping with all the maidens our father kidnapped into first marriages in his infamous capacity as the Supreme Controller. Are you aware of that? We need to talk. Leave our mother out of this. We are men. Let's talk. When men run faster than their gods, they run into untimely death.
Don't tell me nothing is happening. We are back to square one. Everything I felt in the garden has disappeared. Nothing. Your Majesty, if you ask me, I would suggest that you seek wider consultation for the solution could be even closer. No, I'm not going to, I'm not going for any wider consultations. You are my solution. Not your solution, my king. It's only a matter of time. I, I, I want you to relax and uh, you know, and enjoy yourself. Feel at home. You have everything at your disposal. You will not be denied anything. I, I, I will resolve it soon. I know why the king said my fiancé doesn't love me. You will not understand, my dear. There are some mysteries that you are too young to understand. But enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. Whatever you want. I want to understand you. Are you trying to tell me that the guards are not only the guilty ones? That you've been sleeping with the maidens as well? everywhere in this palace. You've not been. Huh? Wait, 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 I... What are you... What are you talking about? Wait. You want me to sleep with the maidens married to my father? Oh, come on. Ah. Come on, Obaka. The maidens are not married to our father because the marriages, they have not been consummated. Now, I know this maiden. I've tasted some of them. I've taken my time to look at them. These maidens, these maidens, they are, they are sex stuff. Now, if if we leave them, we will go ahead to bring other men into this palace, into my palace, and I will not take that. Naka, wait, wait. Do you know there is marriage by declaration? Now. The fact that the king, our father, has declared them his wives, has made them so. Now, if you go ahead to sleep with any of those girls, it's tantamount to you sleeping with your own mother. Because they are our stepmothers. And that, if you must be told, is an abomination. Hmm. Let that be my headache. And I'll leave you to follow the bandwagon if you like. Our father, he cannot do anything with any woman, unfortunately, because he has his problems, which you know. Now, I wouldn't want you to give people the impression that you have similar problems. I look at you. I look at you, I look in your eyes every day, even though you seem weak. I know you can bite. So bite! Is 
Thank you, Bodo Doctor, Bodo Doctor, for your mask kidnap my wife. And as I said, Polly man, with illegal money he made from crude and other mineral resources of the land. My name is Jerome. I am a prophet of Yahweh. Now come out clear and tell me the reason for your being here. Prophet, I am very sorry if I put you wrong. I have never been here before. I have never been in this kind of place before. This is my first time here. I don't know how you operate. But I have come to make inquiries about it. Your inquiry would have been on the woman you call your wife. Why do you inquire on the almighty king of Potopoto kingdom? Even you, a man of God, you call him a mere man, almighty king. Why, why do you people accord this man so much respect? Why? If you look at your time, you will see it is after 11 p.m. I should have gone to sleep. Why are you wasting my time? Tell me why you are here. Prophet Ali, I want you to look into your Gaza and find out if this evil king has attacked my fiancé. That's what I want you to find out from me, please. And if I tell you, what will you do? All I'm going to do is my business. All I want you to do is just find out. I must know what your intentions are before I say a word. Okay, if if you confirm he has entered my fiance, I am going to cancel all we shared together. And I'm going to move on with my life and get out of the world. Yes. By this singular statement of yours. I understand that you don't love that woman. And I want you to leave my presence now. I said, me! Prophet, why, why would you say such a thing? How can I propose to a woman that I don't love? How can I be busy all day just because of one woman trying to rescue her? Prophet, all I want you to do for me is Look into your, your Gaza and, and find out if that evil man, that evil king, has penetrated my feelings. That's what I want to do. Please. If you love that woman, you wouldn't have given up on her so easily. You would not have given up or cancelled all that you have shared with her. The abduction. This woman is going to make you rich. Very rich. And I want you to think towards that and talk less of nonsense. Prophet, I thank him here so you can help me find out if that evil king. Violated my fiance. <laughs> You're here talking about riches. Just help me find out. I look at you. I see a very big fool that does not know when opportunity comes. Opportunity comes, but once tapping on it. To be left alone. But you know, 
Yes, yes Your Majesty. Your Majesty. I am not comfortable with your comportment. Is there anything the matter? There's always something wrong in the life of a man. I call this meeting because as the honor I want to confide in you. I want to make some serious readjustments in, in, in cardinal areas as it concerns the, um, the existence and operation of the supreme controller of this kingdom. Your position as the supreme controller the first of its kind in the history of this kingdom empowers you to be a judge, even in your own case. I am on no today because I inherited the staff from my father. I am going to do only one thing, and that is to listen to you. I oh, know. There are forces against me. Oh, yes. I have everything a man could wish for. I have assembled the most beautiful maidens in this land. Ha! I have problem. Oh, no, I have problem. I have not been able to sleep with one of them. No. Man, you why, Your Majesty? I am not going to ask if they refuse. Because I know they cannot refuse. Why haven't you entered any of the meetings you assembled? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The moment I get the maiden in, into my chambers, my manhood collapses like a wet towel. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, yes. And it happened many, many times. Oh, no. This is serious. This is serious. <laughs> Igwe, you are lucky. Medical science has, t has evolved beyond the problem. <laughs> what I need is medical attention. <laughs> what I have is beyond medical attention. Because the moment I take the maiden back outside the palace, my manhood becomes comes to attention, ready for action. Your Majesty, mm. I want to believe that you have not triggered your own death by entering in any of the madness outside the four walls of the palace. Oh no, that is why I invited you here. I want you to come with me to the deity of Upa the paramount god of Putuputu kingdom. Oh yes. I want you to stand by me as I make the declaration that it is no longer sacrilege for the king to play outside the palace with any maiden. Your Majesty, hmm? I will never follow you to that deity to make such a declaration. But you are the honor of this land. I know. You must be seen to be working with the king. You broke our age-long pattern by taking the title of, the revered title of uh, 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 Spring Controller. My father told me everything uh, that happened. Or are you telling me now that uh, you do not know that the Spring Controller must not play with any medal outside the palace before you took the title? Oh, I know. I know. I know that the, uh, 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 the, 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 the the king must not play with the maiden outside the palace. But now the problem is that I cannot do anything inside the palace. So, what are you going to do about it? We have to change it.
Good morning, sir. The only thing I readily pick from your greeting is that you don't know me. That's true. I'm new in this place. I know nothing about the palace or, or the people in it. I'm Naka. Prince. Prince. Naka. The heir apparent to the throne. Me. My father, my father. He, he's busy with your noble. So I am here. I am here to chat you up. I'm sorry, my prince. I have nothing to say. All I can say for now is that I was brought here against my wish. And I'm beginning to settle down to traditional reality that I will be going nowhere. means I grace the woman in me and expose me to the world. anything else. I beg you to leave now. Alright. I'll leave. You know why? Because I'm a 
respectable man. A man of honor. I will leave. But know this. Know this. <clears throat> if you resist me a second time, I will make your stay in this palace miserable. You have my word. You have my word. I will not mention a word of this to your father. I won't tell him that you came here to take me. Okay, which means we... And that is if you promise that this will never repeat itself again. Naka. capacity as they know my loyalty is with the customs and traditions of this land I am a man of the future you cannot cajole me into doing anything that is against the customs and traditions of this land oh no oh no where is your milk of human sympathy I have assembled in my palace beautiful, the most beautiful maidens of this kingdom. And I cannot do anything with them because of the restriction placed on venue. Why don't we change the tradition? Why are you unwilling to do that? What you have is a problem you can solve yourself. I will never make myself available for any change in the customs of our people. Supreme Controller Controller Supreme Supreme Controller I can do about it. Nothing. Is anything the matter? No. No? I don't know why you came into my chambers. I don't like the way you're looking at me. I've told them that you are still naive because nobody has shown you the real thing. I've come to offer myself to you. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, I want to understand you. 
What are you? What do you want? What does it look like? Hey, wait! Wait, wait a minute! Are you trying to seduce me in the palace? Do you realize you're my father's wife? I am not your father's wife. You are! No! A promising young woman like me, with all her senses active and very functional, can be married to a sexually dead king? He doesn't touch me. And we've confirmed that he doesn't touch any of the maidens. I need you. No. Please. No. I'm pleading. Please grab me and make me feel like a woman. Wait, wait, no! No! Hey! Please, no, 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 no. Listen, please. I am not one of those debased men that would go into their father's wives, okay? So please leave. I am not married to your father. I am not. Your mother and Naka's mother are the only women he married. All the maidens were forcefully brought into this palace. And it would be right if I said we are in bondage. I need a touch of a man. No, not me, please. I need you, please. No! Feel me. No, I can't, no! What I'm asking of you is what your brother and Naka would pay any amount of money for. <laughs> My brother Naga. Yes. I refused because I don't like him. It is you I like. Hey, no. Please. No. Make love to me. No! No, no, no. Go, go. No. Please. No, no. Go! Please. Leave before someone sees us here. I can't. Please. No! Leave. Hey, wh what are you doing? What? No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Now. Get out. Please. Put back your clothes and leave my presence. I thought you were a real man. You are a disgrace to men.
I'm surprised that you're still following this case. TPO, I have resolved that I will follow this case to its logical completion. You see, my people have a me that he who kills and walks away will surely run like a snake the day he kills from your warrior's family. I cannot say I know the import of your saying. Uh, as I speak to you now, my fiancée has not gotten to her father's house. She is still held hostage in that palace. So I came to ask you for some officers. Officers? What for? You see, Dipio, I went there the other day and the people walking out the gate refused me to enter. And I know if I have to go there alone, they will still not allow me to go in. So I want to go with some officers. Young man, I, I must truly tell you that there's no need for all this. Dipio, I know you say that you need her to come down here and make a statement. She's still alive. If the parents of this girl think otherwise, then they can make a formal complaint. Dipiro, give me officers and let us storm the palace and make sure that my fiance is still alright. Young man, I am sorry. I don't have officers for you. <sighs> you see, I have this this hard feelings that you're in the king's bill. And you are part of his ill gotten world. I was wondering, be mindful of what you say in front of a senior police officer. <laughs> See, yeah. I'm sorry, DPO, but you see, you gave me the reason for such impression. Why? I mean, why on earth are you are you hiding a criminal? Young man, I think you've had a way. Get out of my office now before I throw you into the cell. You see, um, you see, it, 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 God. Dipio, it's not going to work for you. It won't. It won't work for you. The day I found out that, that animal, that so-called animal, molested my wife, I swear to God, I'm going to charge you to court. Young man, get out of my office now. It's part of Bermuda. Come on, this young man out of my I said, get out of my office and I throw you to the cell. Get out of here now. It's part of who's there? It's part of Bermuda. You don't need to shut up. She did not kill herself the way he told us. Uh, I want to know what you're thinking. Uh, you really think she didn't kill herself? Exactly, Father. Exactly. I mean, why would she kill herself? She is on a monthly salary of 500,000 naira, And I only paid her three days ago, right? And she was in high spirit. Then all of a sudden, Father, boom, she's gone. I still ask, Father, why would she kill herself? Why? So what are you insinuating? Father, it is possible that Obaka invited her to his chambers. Mm. And then, he raped her, and I mean raped her thoroughly. 
And by the time it was done, because he didn't want her to spill it out, he murdered her in cold blood with the same gun. I am so sure of it. You are painting your own brother in, in, the, in, the, in the light I do not like. You know you are accusing him of murder. And this could earn him life imprisonment. So, Father, are you saying that we should cover crime? Huh? Crime as huge as murder in this palace just because we don't want someone to go to jail. Is that it? No, son. No. These are trying times. And we must make sure that we do not play into the hands of the enemies. This is your monthly allowance of 500 grand. And then, this is 300 grand from me to you. My personal gift for you. I'm giving you the extra because because I love you. I love you beyond words. I want to know the exact reason why you asked me to come to this office to get the check. Because the standard thing to do is that you bring the check back to us in the palace. Well. From here, my office, I run the family business from this point. And my father, my father, my father, my father, my father, the one that brought you to the palace, he's, he's old, he's weak, he cannot do anything. So I, I brought you here to tell you and show you how much I, I love you and desire you. My dear, the useless gods that brought you here, I already sent them downstairs. And you know what that means? We now have this whole office For ourselves to do anything. Sometimes I wonder why they'll make you the business controller. You're never a serious human being. Wait, 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 wait. 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 You can never buy me with money. If it were your brother, perhaps I would have given him, but for you, nothing. Now or ever. Come back. You don't walk out on me. Come back.
<laughs> Nora, why are you looking like a missing child? You said to us that the prince lied. That is why you, we want you to explain what you meant by that. I don't believe they're going to kill herself. I think she was murdered by the prince. How could you say this, Nora? I mean, I find it so difficult to believe that Prince Ubaka could kill someone. Oh, no. Think about something else, please. Why would you say that? She confided in me. And she said that she wanted to go and seduce the prince. She did? She sounded very serious. I told her she was sick, but I could still see the seriousness in her. <laughs> it, it is... Is it possible that she went to seduce the prince and she did not succeed? Not even well that the prince was going to report her, she decided to commit suicide. If you believe that, then you can believe anything. I think what happened was that she went to the prince and then she managed to seduce him. But then the prince knew that she was going to come back to us and tell us the news. So he decided to murder her and keep her silent for life. Now that is very hard to believe. Very hard to believe. I mean, why would he want to kill her? Why? Why? Why would she kill herself? Is it because I refused to do what she asked of me and walked her out of my chambers? Why would she shoot herself? We were just asking ourselves. We were just asking ourselves that same question before you came in. Because we know of absolutely no reason. My God, you will kill us <laughs> Wait a minute. Look, I, I, I want to understand what's going on through your mind. Are you in any way implying she didn't kill herself? Who could... Oh, wait. A are you thinking... This whole thing is it's confusing. I don't even know what to believe anymore. Excuse me, sir. What are you doing here again, young man? I have come to see Ifunaya. Please, I want to see Ifunaya. I brought money for you. I, I, I will give you. I am pleading. Let me just see her, please. Hello, listen, the situation in the palace now is too critical. A median shot and kill herself this morning. So no visitors is allowed to go in. Uh, for now, we, please. We, 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 we can we, go. We, we. Hope it's not Ifunaya. Eh? Hope it's not Ifunaya. Which of the medians the, 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 the mother in this palace? Eh? Which of them? Hope it's not my Ifunaya. No, 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 no. You must repeat what you heard me say. I didn't say a median was shot or murdered. Rather, a median shot herself and this morning. Please. Uh, but hope is not if Naya. Hope, hope she's, she's not black and tall. Uh, have you confirmed? Have you confirmed? The, uh, the media that was killed. Not confirmed. Just, please, I'll give you money. Just, just, just give me the information. Give me the information. Yet. It's not confirmed. See, my, my, my friend, please. Uh, um, the the, the media that is shot and killed, that, 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 that killed in the palace here. Who is she? Hope, hope it's not if Naya. The, the, the top the, black one. The uh, media that shot and killed herself will not be confirmed. Uh, I will not be confirmed yet. Uh, but, but hope is not if Naya. Is not. Okay, I don't know yet. Okay, just, just, just take me to if Naya. Please, let me just see her. Uh, please. 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 Okay, uh, excuse me. Okay. 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 Uh, uh, um, come with me. Okay. No, no excuse me. What are you planning to do? But that's not, not allowed to receive any male visitors in the, the palace. So, what, 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 have you forgotten the protocol? I told you, I'm not taking to any medicine. 
I'm taking to Prince Obaka. Yes. Yes, Prince Obaka. Be careful. 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 Complicated, Your Majesty. Why, why would she kill herself? Honestly, my dear, I don't understand what's going on. She got paid her salary only a few days ago. Now she doesn't want for anything in the palace. And why would she want to go and commit suicide? And in my palace? Someone forcefully tried to rape her. She refused. And then the person killed her so she wouldn't say anything. That was exactly what my son said earlier. Even if I'm not going to believe the rest of the world, I will believe you. I will believe you because you are my maiden of honor. Yes. Get me the divisional police officer. Tell him I want to see him immediately. Your Majesty, I do not believe that Ubaka killed her. Prince Ubaka couldn't have killed her. Someone else must have murdered her and dropped her right in front of his door to make it seem like he did. I mean, just to implicate him. Mm. Well, my dear, the police will investigate and I can assure you it will be thorough and anybody found implicated in this dastardly act oh will face the wrath of the law Oh, <laughs> 